Hello and welcome to a Claes Hunter 1 tutorial. This is my website codefreaks.co.uk. On Codefreaks you can post questions or answers about any of your coding problems. That's web or desktop and includes Blender. If you have any hardware or software problems you can also post them too and we'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. That's codefreaks.co.uk. Let's open Blender. Start, all programs, Blender Foundation, Blender, Blender. In today's tutorial we're going to make a wave in Blender. Firstly we're going to orientate our cube so it's in the front view by clicking the view menu and front. Now we're going to go to the modifiers tab and click add modifier. We're going to add an array. What an array does is adds a cube onto the side of our existing cube. We're going to go back down to the array options and increase the count to 5. So that will make 5 cubes on the side of our original cube. Now we're going to just minimize the array. We're going to also add another function now. Um, I'm going to click Add Modify and click Wave. Now we've got the Wave tab come up. So if we drag our bottom toolbar up so we get the whole lot of options for the Wave, we can see what we need to do. Let's give it a test run first before we alter any options. We're going to press Alt A while our mouse is hovering over the workspace window, 3D workspace window, and we can see it's just sort of wiggling out of control and doesn't look very much like a wave at the moment. We're going to press Escape to stop the animation. Now, I think it's going a bit fast, so we're going to decrease the speed to about 40, 0 0.40. So that should look a little better if we press Alt A. I think it's a bit fast, so so we'll decrease the speed again. Let's try it 0 0.040, and we'll try again Alt A to start the animation. There we go. That looks a little bit more like a wave. If we press Escape to stop the animation. Okay. Now before we go any further, we want to make the wave look a bit smoother. Um, so let's rotate our block so we can see the top edge and just position it in the middle of our window a bit better. And now we're going to go into edit mode. Press the tab key. And we're going to um, do another new function now which is called subdividing, which adds more faces to a object than it already has. So if we press the W key and click subdivide, and we're going to do it a few more times, so we'll press the W key, subdivide, W subdivide and we'll do it once more W subdivide there we go now we're going to go back to object mode by pressing the tab key and you can see already the lump in our wave is looking a bit smoother so if you press alt A now and we'll see how that looks it is a bit slow but our wave is looking a lot more wave like as you can see. So we'll stop the animation now by pressing the escape key and we'll start to add a bit of um, water texture to it. So if we go to the shading button here and we'll change the colour to a slight blue and then press enter to select that colour. We're going to click ray mirror so it's on and up that to about 0 0.50. Now our water should look a bit more realistic, although you may not see it in object view at the moment, but when you come to render it, it will. We can resize our bottom toolbar now, so it's a bit smaller. Um, you can also fiddle with a few more options that's around here. If we go back into edit mode, we'll go back down to the bottom of the wave tab we can increase the width so that's um, how long it will take for the next wave to come so if we just play our wave now the next wave will be longer than it was before as you can see it's taken quite a long time for the next wave to come um, you can fill around with these settings to make the waves suit your needs. You can make the waves higher. As you can see, it's gone higher now. 
we can make the wave wider now. So if we go to top view by pressing the 7 key and resizing it, so we're going to push S and Y. So we resize it along the Y axis. We can make our water a bit wider and we can drag to the side view again and watch our wave go along. If you want to render it, you can press the F12 key to see how that frame in the animation has turned out. That's all for this tutorial. Check back later for some more. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.